Hello and welcome to another session of Math Cats. I am your host, Cat, and today I just want to talk about some key aspects of math and how I effectively learn math. It's not necessarily the same as other subjects, and there are some things that I can do to really help myself succeed in math. We're just going to write them down because this is usually what um, the video format will be like. The first one is I want to set clear goals. That means don't be vague and say, oh, I'm going to study math for an hour. Be clear and specific and say, I'm going to do this kind of practice problem until I get five in a row correct. Be clear and specific. And then when you actually achieve that goal, you'll feel so much better and you will notice that you're making progress. Vague goals, it's hard to recognize that you're making progress. Second one is write stuff down. Write stuff down. That could be copy things over from your notes. Just write them again. From a textbook, write them down. There's something that happens when you write down math. Even if you have something and you're just copying it over. Something happens and it sticks much more in your brain. Don't be afraid to just write stuff down. The third one is to always focus on understanding. I know it's not what you want to hear and those formulas are so tempting to just memorize and use. And in some cases, it feels as if you're encouraged to just use a formula and to stop thinking. That is never the case. Understanding is always better than memorizing. If you understand something, you're more flexible. You can adapt that understanding to a variety of problems. And if you only memorize a formula, you're sort of stuck. The question has to be just right for you to use that formula. Understanding is always better, even though in the beginning, it feels as if it's more difficult to attain. The next one is learn from your mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. I make mistakes as well. The best thing you can do is to just look at it. Don't deny that it happened. Look at it and say, okay, why did, where did this go wrong? Why did I make this mistake? Was it a fundamental understanding problem? Or was it just a silly mistake that I should be aware of in the future? Silly mistakes happen all the time. I get very frustra frustrated when I make silly mistakes constantly sometimes. You can only be aware and practice through them and they'll go away. If your mistakes are because you actually don't understand something, then stop. Backtrack and go back and understand. Why? Where is the problem? Focus on understanding. Even if you have to take a step back, it'll help you in the long run. Number five is get help when you need it. That is one of the reasons why uh, I'm here to help you when you need it. And it also means be proactive, ask for help. Say when you need help, do something. Even if it's just putting your hand up and saying, I need help. You should never with math, wait and think, you know, I'm just gonna leave it. It should fix itself eventually. I, I'm too embarrassed to ask anything you are simply hurting yourself. Chances are when you ask for help, many other people have the same issue and they're so relieved that you said something. Do not 
be embarrassed, do not be self-conscious. These things are hard sometimes. The next one that I want to focus on is maybe going to sound silly, but don't be afraid to talk about math. Even if it's just to yourself. I used to talk to myself as I'm writing my notes, say what I'm writing. Why am I doing something? What is the next step? Even though I'm the only one there, yes, it'd be nice to work with someone, but sometimes you're by yourself studying. Say things out loud. It makes a huge difference. Don't be self-conscious. Start small. Start with things you can do. If there's a problem that seems overwhelming, go back and see, well, what can I do? And build up to that. And connected to that is um, break a big task. If you have a seemingly big problem with many steps, break it up into small pieces, small manageable steps. If I have a big word problem, start slowly. What is the first thing I can do? Don't try and answer the whole question in one go. Many people feel that I have a question in front of me. If I can't answer this right away, there is something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes problems are just big. And they require me to break it up into steps and slowly, systematically go through the journey to get to the answer. Don't be afraid of the journey. Hopefully these steps help you to... Let me zoom out a little bit. <coughs> help you to approach math correctly. It's not a, a quick fix solution, but there are certain things that you can do to help yourself succeed. Until next time, see you soon. Please remember to click the like button if you enjoyed the video and to subscribe if you want to be notified of more videos. Also, uh, please visit me on my Patreon page if you want to support me in making further content. Thank you.